why you're not changing why you aren't growing why things are still staying the same you know all these things but nothing's changing let's get right into it i just want to say as well welcome back it's been a while since i've actually made youtube videos but i actually miss it so much and i have a lot to say i was at a party yesterday and mr novi was there i just have to point that out that was epic he is so so sweet and i was talking to this random girl that i met and we we're just talking about things and she's like you need to make youtube videos and i was like i actually have a podcast but hmm i actually miss doing it i really miss it so i was like why not why not start again i miss it so much so i'm gonna try to do one every single week and it's just gonna be about very similar topics we're gonna always include god because amen he is the center of our lives let's just get into it okay i don't like fluffing around too much if you are like me and you have read books you listen to podcasts you you know what you need to do but yet you feel like you're not growing there's a big reason why and the reason is because you have information overload what does that mean okay it means you know everything to do for example weight loss we literally know what we need to do like we actually know it's not rocket science there's no easy hack there's no easy fix eat healthy train that's it be consistent it's like actually so simple yeah yeah we complicate everything because we're like oh but like there's a new thing here let me go try that let me try this it's same with self-help you know that you should not be talking to yourself bad but what do you do the exact same thing that you know you shouldn't be doing <laughs> i literally did that yesterday i was like i feel so i felt fat okay i didn't feel good had a lot of chocolate i felt a type of way i was like oh i don't feel good i feel really bloated my bum looks humongous which i'm actually not really cute it's not really cute at the moment and i'm like i need to settle down and do a bit more cardio and i was like talking to myself i was like wait 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 i literally know i shouldn't be doing this and yet i'm doing it we know what we should be doing we know like what to do but yet we still over consume content okay so I'm gonna list a few things that I really think are the big pillars and then how we're gonna fix it because come on, we need solutions and I wanna be realistic. Cause I don't know about you, but when I get really into something, I'm like, oh my God, I wanna go all in, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And then I end up doing nothing and then I procrastinate and then it's a cycle and it's not a cute cycle. It's actually not fun at all. Yeah, okay, cool. So I really believe that when you know so much, if you are just, consuming content all the time, listening to podcasts, reading books, um, even the music you listen to, it's all about self-help, self-development, like development. even when it's about God. Like I love God so much. I don't think anyone can fathom. Obviously we all love him so much, duh. But my spiritual journey really started with him this year and I was all in, like all in, that I actually lost my personality. <laughs> I lost who I was, I forgot who I was. I didn't know what I needed to do. I didn't know how to act. I was like all over the shop. It wasn't, it wasn't cute at all. And I realized it's because I dropped everything. I literally used to think that thinking good thoughts were, was bad because how is that serving God? You know what I mean? So you could be doing that with something else. You could be so in your health journey, so in your mental health journey that you actually forgot how to have fun. I think this happens a lot with relationships and dating. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Black cat. I forgot. Golden retriever. It's a whole thing. And we forget how we should actually act towards a man. Because they have feelings too. They're human. Yeah, some of them are silly humans. But that's okay. It's fine. So I would really recommend stop listening to self-help books. Stop reading things. Stop listening to podcasts. Stop all of it. Okay? You've had enough information on what to do. Okay? After this video, stop watching everything. Because you need the help. Yeah? Stop watching. Just literally cut it off. And all I want you to do is focus on one thing. Literally just one thing that you should be doing. For example, if you really want to level up mentally, you can be like, okay. I know exactly what I should be doing. Everyone has a different method that works for them. You just have to figure out what you can like consistently do. That's it. So I would recommend doing one thing consistently for 60 days and it can be fun. You can either buy a calendar or if you don't want to spend money because hello, everything is crazy right now. Use your phone. We love our phone. We have our phone, even in the toilet, even in the bath. Our phone's always with us. Literally go on your calendar and all you got to do is 
mark off one thing so for example what i what i started doing was i'm like okay i want to say something good about myself every single day every single day no matter if i'm feeling crap if i'm not feeling it if i feel bloated and ugly if i'm on my periods if whatever if i'm having a not great time i'm going to say something good about myself and it literally could be as small as i love my hair you know i smiled more today you know i felt very soft today i'm a very soft sweet feminine woman just things like that every single day for 60 days straight and whenever you forget it you go back to your calendar to remind yourself what you told yourself today and that's your mantra for the day it's so simple yeah don't overcomplicate it let's keep it simple okay step 2 why you're not doing anything about your life why you're not changing why you're stuck it's because you don't believe you like you believe you should be further than where you are and i'm all for self growth i'm all for growth in general hello but why are you not grateful for where you are right now why because you see on tiktok all these people traveling you see all these people driving really nice cars doing all these things and you're like oh my god i have no idea what i'm doing like i'm just working 9 to 5 or i have this business that i'm not even profiting from or whatever the case is one you don't know where they've been you don't know how long it's taken for them to get to where they are it might have been an overnight success yeah cool good for you god wanted to bless them that way our blessings can be di- our blessings are different right so instead of being like oh my god this person's like 32 and they've married and they have four kids and i'm this age and i have no i don't even have a man i'm talking to <laughs> okay and there's a good and bad side to everything if you're single right now and you're just consistently looking at all these other people in relationships and married and all that you can be like you know what god the fact that i get to see someone else happy gives me hope for right now i know you want me in this season i'm just going to i'm going to figure it out with you where it's a partnership you know instead of being like oh my gosh i'm getting older my eggs they like you just go in a whole rut what is that helping it's causing wrinkles that we don't want <laughs> absolutely not absolutely not my love we want to look young forever <laughs> and that's preventing stress so stop comparing your life with others and if you find that it happens through social media this is what we're going to do because let's be completely real we're going to scroll people on here say don't don't mindlessly scroll don't do that don't okay we're human and i can almost guarantee that you're watching you're not going to stop scrolling like i i don't even stop like hello and i i actually make content so je ne sais pas go on your phone this is what i do okay i go on my phone i put my timer on for half an hour half an hour is a long time it is such a long time yeah let's start realistically it's just half an hour we go on our phone for half an hour and you can just do whatever you want you can scroll you can look do whatever you want right as soon as your alarm goes off you know you drop your phone like it's a shark going to eat your hand you drop your phone that's it you're done Now be aware of how you feel after that half hour. If you feel like you still have good dopamine, you feel good, you're like, "Okay, cool. I I did what I had to do. I had to I looked, I'm good. Let me go outside. Let me go eat. Let me do something." Then that half an hour is good. You know, you can keep it on half an hour for a little while. If you felt all the feelings that we're talking about right now, like you feel, "Okay, <laughs> I'm this age. I have nothing." I need to work harder. I need to be more my feminine. I need to be skinnier. I need to be prettier. I need to be this. I need to be that. blah blah blah. Then let's reduce the half hour. Because you can't go from scrolling on your phone 150 times a day to absolutely nothing. No. Let's be realistic. No, that's not going to happen. So instead, tomorrow you can be like, "You know what? I didn't feel great. I'm going to do 15 minutes." And I promise you, When you do that, which is leading to my third point, you're going to feel so proud of yourself that you actually put the timer on, you dropped your phone and now you're on to the next thing. The third thing is trusting yourself more. This is I'm going to make another video about this because it's a whole it's a whole thing, but I truly believe the reason why you're not growing, why you're still stuck knowing everything that you know is because you didn't trust yourself enough to actually do what you're going to say, make the changes and believe it's worth it. like you're worth it. It's it's actually that simple. The thing is I truly believe God wants us to have a good life, 
Doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. He just wants us to have a good life. And sometimes to have a good life, it has to be a little bit hard. It has to be a bit difficult for our blessings to come, right? But in order for that to happen, we need to believe. We need to trust. How can you believe in yourself and trust in yourself if you say you're going to do something, you don't even do it? It can be literally as simple as, you know what? I'm going to drink more water today. I haven't had enough water. I've been drinking a lot of... Um, I was going to say alcohol, but who does that? <laughs> I've been drinking a lot of soft drinks and all these things, and I'm not really feeling that great. I need more water. But then you don't drink enough water because you're like, oh, it tastes so good. So why did you say it? If I had told you right now in the beginning of the video, by the end of this video, you're going to make 50 grand, and then all of you didn't make 50 grand, would you even watch this video again? Would you ever, you would like leave really bad comments. You'd probably tell everyone, this girl's the biggest liar, blah, blah, blah. But for yourself, it's okay to lie to yourself because you're the only one that can hear it. Hmm, isn't that interesting? So I like to pretend that everything I think that I say to myself, I'm telling someone else. Because as soon as you tell someone else you're gonna do something and then you don't do it, now you're a liar. Now they're gonna look at you and be like, oh. I'm telling you, people lose respect. They might not say anything, but they will. Trust me, they will. And it all starts with that. Now, when you start, my bird is going mental. My sister thinks screaming her name is gonna help. The logic, love it. I truly think if you start doing all these three steps, it doesn't have to be 50. Like, let's be real. When you get told you need to do like 10 different things, you're like, okay. Let's be real. Let's do one thing at a time. It's so simple. Three steps. Pick something you're going to do for 60 days and do it. Come on. Like, if you actually want a better life, you got to do something. You can't ask God and pray to God to help you in an area of your life, but all you're doing is sitting at absolutely nothing. And he's like, my child, if you open that door, the blessing is there, but yet you're stuck on this couch and you refuse to look. I truly believe that God is like, first of all, He's so amazing. But he wants to bring us blessings in our life. Jesus wants that, right? But he's also like, you have free will. We have free will. This is what our religion is like so beautiful. We have free will, right? But everything we do has a consequence, whether it be good or bad. He's literally, he's given us our path. Our path is here. And we're here. He's like, okay, choose to follow me. You can go on this path. We follow him, yeah, for sure, right? But then we see something that we don't like, or we're in, a, we're in a little situation we're not happy with. So then we start steering off this way, and we start going that way. And he's like, if right here is the blessing, but you're here, you're not far away. And then we have to come back, and we start sometimes further than we, we were already were, before, I can't speak, behind where we were, right? This is why it's so important to start small. Baby steps, you know? You can't leap five steps consistently you're gonna fall you're gonna go further back so let's start with one thing okay so do one thing one small thing for 60 days and stop watching all this self-help stuff stop it okay give yourself a little break even if it's a week give yourself a break i promise you you will feel so much better okay step one step two i want you to put a timer on your phone for tiktok and instagram for anything for anything okay I'm not gonna tell you don't go on your phone in the morning and night. You already know we're gonna do that. Let's be real. Let's be real, yeah? Half an hour. And this is for the day. Yeah. You thought it was like for an hour a day. No, no, my love. That's for the day. Day of scrolling, okay? And the third thing is when you say you're gonna do any of these two things, do it. And if you don't think you're gonna do it, start off even smaller. Be like, okay, I know I can't do half an hour. I need to be realistic because I actually wanna do it. I'll do an hour. An hour a day so i'll do two halves of 30. i know i can't say something good about myself for 60 days for i don't know what the reason is yeah so i'm going to write it in my notes i'm going to do it twice a week it's doing those little things every day that will make you feel and your life will get better right you won't talk to your younger self imagine your baby self i'm sure they're adorable right oh my god i was so cute <laughs> i really was <laughs> When I talk bad about myself, I think I'm a little jest, and I'm like, I am so sorry. How, would you ever say that to a little child? Would you ever say to a little child, oh, you're actually so fat, oh, you're actually so ugly, your eyes are so weird, you have so much lid space. Your hair, it's, it's really ugly. 
I feel like you should go to jail if you say that. Like, literally, how dare you make a little kid cry or sad, you know? So that's why I really believe. Picture yourself as a young little kid. Picture you're talking to a friend. You are your best friend. Hello, we are so lucky that we have ourselves and we're alive. So if you really want to change your life in a matter of a month, yeah, because it doesn't take five, six months. It can change in a month, 60 days. Do those three things. Comment down below what you're going to be changing. What three things are you going to be doing? The phone is not negotiable, yeah? <laughs> That's a part of the, the thing. But comment down below what's, what's something you're gonna be doing for 60 days. And then after the 60 days, let me know how you feel. Because I am telling you, your life literally will change. If you do this, your life will change. And it will change for the better. And you won't be feeling like, I know all these things and yet I'm stuck. There's two types of people in the world. The people that actually do stuff and the people that know the stuff and they don't do the stuff. Don't be that person. Because that's a very sad life to live. And as a Lebanese girl myself, we are not really taught that. Our parents didn't really know much about that and it's not their fault. But I believe that when you become an adult, it's your choice to stay this way. You can't blame no one else. I don't care what the situation what the situation is. That's like literally no one's problem and it's not yours. You gotta move on. So let's move on together. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye.